Hi guys, welcome. Thank you guys are good. Um, this video we will be uh checking on some tools that it uh, may be useful and could help for uh literature review or reviewing. So I I I still haven't found any uh, uh tools specifically, but. I just have some keywords which I wanted to check on what it is. So, um, what we can do is, uh, we can go through together and we find out things. And I'll definitely put it in the business description, the video description, and you can actually uh, um, test and see, you know. And uh, let's see what's 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 this all about. I I really do not know how this works, but. Uh, what is it? What is it? Google knowledge. Oh. So, what we understand in um, literature review is we review, uh, you know, when you are doing uh, a paper, uh, commissioning a paper, coming up with the proposals, or for you to find out a problem statement, find a gap uh, in certain area. So you actually go through published papers and then you identify, then identify what the technology, what are they trying to address, and uh, methods they are using, and so on. And then uh, you capture those keywords and then you put it into compiling and to see a bigger picture. So what's this Google Knowledge Graph? Google Knowledge Graph is the knowledge base used by Google. And it's service to enhance its search engine. So basically, very suitable for PhD students. First, the information is presented to a student in info box. Okay, and then to the search result. Mm -hmm. So, so oh, okay. So this is what they call as the. Ah, uh, perhaps. The Google search results. Ah, we used to see that at the site there. So, we're trying to see here. Is there a tool specifically, or they're just trying to explain about? Uh, yeah. So, this is talking about the service Google is using. And, uh, yeah, I don't think we are looking at that. So, so let's see what we can do. Mm, tools. Sorry. Tools. And let's see what tools do they have. So some mod model. So I guess uh during data engineering so it's not probed into that. Uh, now this, this, uh, let, let me, before I go into, I got a name, a tool's name, before I go into that, I want to check what is, um, uh, what is ontology graph, I really want to know what ontology, exactly, actually, this is what, uh, we are trying to do when we are doing literature review, we are going to map one to another, and then we see which is the area. So, I think this would be uh, the part. So yeah, you can see here Neo4j. This is the tool I actually got uh, the name from somebody, and they said that uh, uh, I saw the name and I thought that this would be a good uh, tool, perhaps. Sorry, sorry for that. And um, yep. Uh, let's see. Let's explore further and see on graph instance. So, um, all right. I'm gonna leave this here. So we we remove the Google knowledge base and uh, uh, let's go into. Graph itself.
So uh, here, this is this is one of the tool that can help on pathology graph, and uh, I, you know, this is basically what a PhD student does. You know, let me just and where you read multiple books, you get the data, and then you you uh, put it in one single point a viewpoint and. Uh, yeah. So exactly, can you see here? So he's he knows the pain. Perhaps uh, you know we are creating so many. Uh, we have so many PhD graduates or PhD scholar, uh, uh, doctors uh, graduating and. Uh, Everybody faced the same pain, and I was wondering how come nobody, uh, you know, find a simple tool to actually simplify the life of a PhD student. And uh, yeah, this is great, you know. And I, I, I pretty well, I think he knows what he's picking or what the tool is all about. So, see what's RDF. Uh, I, uh, what's RDF? Uh, it's reasoning. Uh, database framework. I believe so. I, I'm just looking at the uh, the link RDF resource description framework. Okay. All right. Um, let's explore further. Yes. 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 Exactly. It's not ML. AI is not machine learning. It's not, AI. it's not machine learning. People who understand it, they will know it's, it's totally different thing. You know, AI composite machine learning. What was spelled here is is absolutely correct. You know, machine learning is part of AI, but it is not AI. All right, I, I truly do not know how it works, guys, but I think that uh, it may help. It may help for life. So, yep, uh, let's look at the solution. Let's look at some of the use cases. Very suitable is knowledge graph, analytic data science. This is two I can see for relevance to over there. So, A lot of, uh, I mean, I heard this name sometime back in 2016 or 2017, and I actually didn't go in. But uh, looking at your uh, track record, you know, guys, well, it means they, they really expanded. They really expanded. Okay, let's look at the solutions. Uh, solutions. Without looking ahead. I do not know, I do not know where are the products. Let's look at it together. Let's just look at it together. You know, something that makes me my life would be definitely I'm gonna share with you guys. I know the pain. Trust me I know the pain. So well, I am just follow leading graph database. Uh hmm. I 
think this would be useful for for data science data scientists. It's interesting. I actually want to did I open that? No, I don't know what I opened it. Okay, I'm gonna close the case studies. Okay, let's close this. Okay, let's start the algorithms. Oh, I, I, I'm getting, so I'm going to just uh, bookmark this and I'm going to say something like the level, okay, this is the level of the data now. Uh, yeah, let's create the product page with this. If this fits well, then why not? On. Guys, look at the organization uh, using the tool. Let me enlarge a bit. Okay, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to check if they have, I mean, they allow test. New room. Refat open, visualize. And, I, I really do not know, so I'm going to get into this. Guys, there's a lot of white papers. Good. Alright, guys, uh, what we can do is uh, explore the new 4G. I think this would be a good tool that we can use for literature review. And uh, leave a comment. Uh, or you can actually go to my Facebook page and leave a comment over there and uh, I will explore further I don't want to take much of your time I'm going to try their sandbox explore and of course when I'm exploring I will definitely let you guys also know how it feels so let me complete on the registrations and everything and I'll get back to you in my next video until then please don't forget to subscribe and like my video.